Well, students are heading back to school and so are teachers and one local teacher decided to add some brightness to the classroom and the Liberty Bank su squ Surprise Squad wanted to spread some kindness and help her out. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Eliza Krasinski has that story. It started with an art teacher's creative idea. So three weeks ago I started thinking about back to school and I stumbled upon the idea of making a custom clipboard for myself. So I put my name on the back with paint brushes and paint splatters because I teach art. Anna Wilcox teaches K through five art at Israel Putnam Elementary School in Meriden. After she made one clipboard, she thought others might want one too. And it got some traction on Facebook. I think we don't realize how much we do use a clipboard or how we could use a clipboard. Even I didn't before I made one. Custom Clippies is adding something fun to teachers' classrooms. For $25, teachers can choose any background they like, from a beach scene to their dog's face to the subject they teach, really anything. Probably my most favorite one was for a friend of mine who does the morning show at her school and she calls herself DJ Pickle. So I painted a pickle with like a scratch board on it and it's just, I'm so excited for her students to see it. So it's a fun, it's a fun conversation piece. And on top of that, she's giving back to the community. 10% of every board sold is being donated directly to organizations in Connecticut that promote social emotional learning for kids and their mental health, which is super important right now. So about every month or so, I'm gonna pick different organizations to donate the money to. So we wanted to help her out and spread some kindness. So Channel 3 is partnering with Liberty Bank and they wanted to surprise you with some gift cards so that you can go and, and buy some more supplies. Thank you, that's so nice, oh my gosh. It's really, really thoughtful. I wasn't expecting this to blow up or be this big, but it's really special. Eliza Krasinski, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.